it all begins and it ends with soil and however bizarre it sounds this is actually what we are eating um, we eat soil but our bodies can't process all this amazing energy in here so we use plants as the catalyst to take that energy out for us nowhere in nature do we find nature wasting. The word waste means that it's something that has no use, um, it has passed on, we need to get rid of it. In essence it's exactly the opposite and just as Einstein said E equals mc squared, um, you can take one form of energy and you can stabilize it and transform it into another energy. Composting is probably the easiest way to to stabilize that energy and, and to put it in an environment where it can do what it would do in nature and that would be to break down. And it, composting is very forgiving. There is no sort of right and wrong and if you just throw it all together, your browns and your greens, it will break down. Worms have been unchanged on our planet for 650 million years. The design of the worm is phenomenal. These blind, toothless hermaphrodites working in their environment um, have this incredible ability to process a phenomenal amount of organic matter. And the amazing things about worms is that they are exponential. Their, their ability to just keep on going, and it, it, it's not just uh, the worms itself, it's what they're producing, which is obviously the vermicost, which carries on the breaking down of the organic matter. We are not creators, we are facilitators and all we are doing is we are facilitating a process um, to produce food and by producing a really rich compost you'll take your first step and you'll begin to grow microgreens. So this is a tray of radishes. The great thing about microgreens is that the plant will taste like it should taste which would be in the leaves. Um, all this energy is stored right here. Uh, nature in its wisdom has ensured that this little seedling has all the power that it requires to grow big and strong. And if we harvest it at this stage, we are taking all that powerful energy and we are then putting it into our bodies, which makes us big and strong. If you think you're too small to to make a difference, you've never spent a night in a bed with a mosquito. So even if we think that our little tray of microgreens is not going to make an impact, it actually will make an impact. Everything that we do um, from a collective state will have a positive impact. This is our future. This is our future. This is our food. This is our air. This is our water. This is everything right here in my hand.